Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal. This YouTube channel is called Daniel's Tech World and it is my side venture YouTube channel where I talk about uh, technically oriented matters. A lot of it has to do with audio and video production, but this has been a long-standing interest of mine is uh, getting multiple internet connections or you could call this, I guess, advanced home networking using multiple internet connections to get better internet that is a few names multi multi wan internet uh connection bonding link aggregation load balancing if that's all you want to do uh, but i'm going to specifically be looking at connection bonding today at the server level and i'm going to be uh, looking at a tool that i've mentioned a lot of times called speedify now speedify is a paid third-party service the issue with using multiple internet connections if you've got let's say a um, dsl line and you want to also use a satellite connection or a cellular connection it's not quite as straightforward as okay get those connections into a piece of hardware like a router with multiple wan ports and uh, you know just sort of make them work together somehow uh, it's not that simple. There is an open source project for doing this, but you need to have a VPS uh, in the cloud. I believe that's called OpenMTPC uh, Router. So if you don't want to do the hassle of provisioning and running and the expense of maintaining your own uh, hardware on the one side, what you can do is use a lovely program called Speedify, whose entire reason for being is to make connection bonding more accessible. So I'm currently using Speedify on the desktop computer that I'm uh, recording this video on. I have my Ethernet connection coming in for my DSL and I also have a, a cellular router I set up uh, getting in 4G internet and I have that running into my computer through a uh, you know uh, uh, Ethernet to USB adapter and then Speedify makes those connections work in synchrony. The benefits are no f no uh, no dropouts if my ISB goes down for even a few seconds, Speedify switches over to cellular, and I also get a little bit of performance increase. Now, ideally, I would have this running on the network level because all the, it would be great that when I was uh, watching YouTube on my tablet or on the smart TV, that um, we'd be getting these two internet connections. Now, that's a little bit more difficult to achieve with Speedify, um, and I'm just gonna go over to Speedify's website here to show you guys what they say under the FAQ, uh, can I use Speedify on my router or internet switch? Speedify can be used on certain router devices. There are two types of devices supported, supported Linux devices and distributions or window computers, uh, sorry, Linux devices and distributions or Windows computers with Connectify Hotspot. Now this is, Connectify Hotspot's kind of a bolt-on feature. It's a virtual router software for your Windows PC. And uh, as a Linux user, I am not so familiar with the Windows ecosystem, so someone else will have to do that video. Linux, however, is very much up my alley. Speedify on Linux supports Ubuntu and Raspberry Pi OS on both ARM and AMD slash Intel processors. This gives you a number of devices that can act as a router for your network. However, Speedify does not support OpenWRT or DDWRT or MIPS processors at this time. So not all Linux writers are supported. So basically, if you want to install Speedify on a mini PC, make sure that it's got an ARM and AMD slash Intel processor, which reminds me, I'm really, really hopeful <laughs> that what I picked up on AliExpress last night, I picked up this uh, for about $150. I went for the kind of pretty basic uh, RAM and SDE and NVMe configuration because just remember that when you're specking out a router you don't need a ton of either CPU or RAM to get this to work or at least you shouldn't so this looked fine to me it's got one two three four different uh, Ethernet ports RJ45 that I hope will be able to and it's intended for you can see the description PF sense firewall so a lot of these mini PCs fanless mini PCs are marketed for uh, installing a firewall, um, uh, a hardware firewall, but they can actually be used uh, for pretty much anything. I mean, you could really have this as a, you could have this as a little TV running your media center, or you can use this as what I'm going to be doing is not actually a router. I'm not sure that's technically correct because all I'm going to be doing is installing Speedify on this, uh, bonding up my two connections that are going to be going into it and then outputting that uh, bonded connection through one of the uh, RJ45 ports 
um, to my actual router. So it won't be actually the router. It'll just be the kind of connection bonding hardware in my network. Um, so that is one option. And the other option is Raspberry Pi. Uh, you can also use a Raspberry Pi um, as an inline bonding device. That's the technical name for, uh, I guess, a device on your network that just does bonding inline bonding because inline i guess because you're doing it physically on your own network connect your internet connections to the raspberry pi and then use the linux sharing options to share the connection via ethernet to the one port on your main router okay so that's a that's a nice implementation too out of the box you can just connect i mean what i'm doing for the raspberry pi 4 i'm just going to uh show the raspberry pi this is again from AliExpress, so whether this is legitimate or not, I'm not sure. But in any event, I bought it through a local reseller. This is the Raspberry Pi 4 Model B. And if you want to do what I'm doing, which is bonding up a uh, DSL connection and a uh, cellular connection. So what I'm doing is I have two Ethernet to USB adapters feeding into the these two USB ports. Um, and then I flashed um, this program I'm about to introduce onto the... Uh, Raspberry Pi I'm doing the connection bonding there and I'm using the RJ45 to feed out the connection to my router um, I'm now I'm gonna just wait for the mini PC because I'm a bit worried that I picked up a Raspberry Pi kit that didn't have a uh, fan um, and didn't have a case with the fan so I've ordered that um, and I'm a little bit wary of the device overheating um by putting it under too much work so i think for the moment i'm going to just leave it be and uh, maybe use it for future projects but there's also this cool project and i'm just looking for it in my tabs by the way if you don't want to buy stuff on aliexpress the only reason i buy stuff on aliexpress is because i'm not based in the us and i don't have access to amazon i would definitely uh pick up hardware from protectly um they basically make the same mini pc fanless um you know computers intended for firewall but they would totally um totally be useful for uh, this kind of application as well so let's go to this project that i want to introduce now called smooth one and basically <clears throat> this is very very interesting the traditional problem with using speedify on the uh, router or the, the you know the limitation in doing it easily is that they don't work with openwrt these guys however have found some kind of a way to do this uh smooth one is a customized openwrt based diy router for quick internet bonding setup using speedify with an emphasis on using an internet browser for easy configuration so once you flash smooth one onto your raspberry pi it puts out this uh wi-fi network called like you know smooth one setup you log into that, you, then you log into the router admin and you can basically set everything up. Limitation is that um, only a certain amount of hardware is supported. Currently, they support a PC um, with Intel or AMD uh, chips, um, a Raspberry Pi 4 or a Pi 400. And they also support two routers from GL.inet, the Flint and the Slate AX specifically. And they're working on a few more uh, Raspberry Pis, basically. So how this project works is, if I just go to the download section, I think it'll take me over to their GitHub. Uh, but you can see basically all the, uh, whether if you're doing it on Raspberry Pi and GLINet, uh, you can download these, um, these installation files. And then you just use Ether to flash the hardware and update or this other program that they have going on there. So here we go. These are all the options. They have the Banana Pi. They have the GLI Flint Slate AX. They have PC AMD 64, PC EFI AMD 64, Raspberry Pi, VirtualBox, and VMware. So you basically install one of these images on. And uh, basically this will give you a... And this works. I got it set up. I got Speedify set up last night on my Raspberry Pi 4. Um, and uh, it's an alternative way to do this you don't need to um, install a whole sort of desktop intended operating system like ubuntu and then work around that you just kind of this gets more straight to the cut of doing the uh doing the you know connection bonding you might want to do with it and uh, again you can use this as what speedify call an inline uh hardware device i'm just going to try look for their documentation 
this is doing it on the GLI net because you you just need enough WAN ports and then you can change the WAN ports. This is three Ethernet ports, so their setup here would be you can do up to two WANs um, by using one of the LAN ports as a WAN and then that leaves you with one LAN to output the bonded connection. Or if you are using whatever this one is, I think that's the slate and this is a flint, you have one, two, three, four, five um rj45 so in that case you can use one two three four you can connect up to four wide area networks and then just use this one on the right as lan because you can you can install open wrt you can reconfigure all the lan ports to wan ports and vice versa so you get more you can bond up to four connections using this gli net and you can bond up to two connections so for my simple DSL cellular bonded connection the the this the smaller GLI net piece would actually help anyway those are kind of the options I'm not doing it yet because although I had a successful test run last night for the moment um, I don't want to mess with my network too much and I'm waiting on the mini PC uh, to do smooth one that way but it should be able to I have high hopes it'll work perfectly I'll make a video when I have it set up and is going to be using it to be bonding up DSL and cellular and then feeding that out to a router and from the router to an access point. And instead of having the bonded connection just on my home network, I'll be uh, distributing it throughout the, to every internet connected device on my network, including my IOT uh, smart home devices. Thanks for watching this video. Until the next time.